So what you saying? Stop playing. You got me going insane. The way you're shaking that frame, baby. Hold up. That boy lame. Hey guys, welcome back to The Nova Show. It's your host, International Nova. So in today's episode, we'll have our first music spotlight, and as always, some cool music news. So let's get started. Big congratulations to Justin Bieber. His new song, What Do You Mean, has just tied a Billboard record on the Billboard and Twitter chart. Now you may be asking, what is the Billboard Twitter charts? Well, the Billboard Twitter charts ranks the most shared or mentioned songs in any given week on Twitter. And with that, Justin's new single has actually tied the record for the most weeks at number one with five consecutive weeks. This is actually pretty big as this is Justin's first single back on the music scene. Good job, Justin. Congratulations. In other news, it seems like that motorcycle accident isn't stopping rapper Fetty Wap. His new album is on course to be the number one album in the country on the Billboard Top 200 and is on pace to sell over 110,000 copies in his first week. Now in other news, Amazon Prime has just signed a brand new deal with Universal Music Group to be able to stream a lot of their artists' music on the platform. Now some of these artists include Drake, Katy Perry, Maroon 5, and Taylor Swift. So if some of you guys have an Amazon Prime subscription, go ahead and check it out. Now it's just been announced that the crowdfunding platform Patreon has just been hacked. Although the company does not store any credit card information from its users, such things as names, email addresses, and shipping addresses were accessed. Now in social media news, it's been announced that Jack Dorsey will become the new and permanent CEO of Twitter. Although he did take the job a few months ago, he is now the official and permanent full-time CEO of the social media giant. So today is time to have our first music spotlight here on The Nova Show. Now we're not here to bash anybody. The entire purpose of the spotlight is to engage in conversations and hopefully help you guys the Freedom Family and the musicians in the Freedom Family grow and make better content and better music. Now our first spotlight goes to a partner by the name of D-Manic and he can be found on YouTube at D-Manic Music. So let's go ahead and check him out. Now the brakes are out and the screws are loose I'm not a loose goose, I'm a loose Who said I'm screwed? You're right, but I'm a lunatic too Can't call place in a zoo Achoo. Bless me, I'm only allergic to you Boo-hoo Complain about it, you may as well try it better Now sorry, but I ain't got no time to tissue Oh, you got some issues if you think I'm a zoo So I'm gonna be honest, I think you have a lot of potential Now, one of the things I would suggest working on Is gonna be your punctuation and your clarity by punctuation, I mean you want to make sure that we understand every single word that you're rapping. Um, in some of your tracks, we kind of lose that a little bit. That's where the clarity comes in and the EQing of your vocals. You want to make sure that you spend a lot of time on the EQ side when it comes to your vocals. Um, a quick way to brighten up vocals and make the clarity much better is to raise your midtones and your highs. But again, there has to be balance. Now personally, when I do my records or any of the artists that I work with, I spend a lot of time on the EQ side. The EQ can either make or break your record. So again, make sure you're taking your time on the EQ side. When it comes to mixing your vocals, you want to have a clean but balanced sound coming from your vocal tracks. Now judging by your music, I can tell that you're a huge Eminem fan and, and that's great. Eminem is amazing. But just make sure that you do not lose yourself when it comes to his influence over your music. Um, you don't want to sound too much like Eminem. You want to bring your own unique style, your own unique tone and vocal presence to your music. Now, if any of the musicians in our Freedom Family are interested in releasing music and monetizing their music, remember we do have a music label here at Freedom and it's called Beat. We are in the process of relaunching and we are hoping to be up and running by winter 2015. Now you guys can go ahead and apply to become artists by going to beat.tm. Me and my team are reviewing applications and we would love to see you guys there. Now that's it for today's episode of The Nova Show. Please keep those music links coming. Until next time, you guys take care.